Good morning, Veronica, and it, it is obviously a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, there has been a lot of discussion about hydrogen. Why do we need to talk about hydrogen? If uh, mankind is serious about climate change, and we really want to address this, at some time in the future, we need to generate all of our energy requirements from either wind, solar, hydro, or probably nuclear. What all of those means of energy generation really generate electricity. We can take approximately half of that electricity and use it directly as a source of energy to drive automobiles, like transport, heating, air conditioning, cooking, and maybe uh, some of our light industry. But there are sections of our economy that cannot be electrified. They include heavy buses, heavy trucks, ships, heavy trains, planes, and heavy industries such as steelmaking. For those, that sector of the economy, what we need to do is take the electricity that has been generated, clean electricity, break down water, and generate hydrogen. And that hydrogen will be used as a source of energy. So that is the ultimate goal. Now the transition is going to take a while and we are going through several phases with hydrogen. Today, we generate and we air products are the largest producer of what we call gray hydrogen. That is hydrogen that is produced by breaking hydrocarbons, whether it's natural gas, refinery residues, or gasification of coal. That is a very cheap source of hydrogen, and a massive amount of that is being used today, basically to most of it to clean up the fuel from sulfur that you put in your cars. And that hydrogen can also be used to drive buses and trucks and all of that, but it is gray. It is produced from hydrocarbons and generates a lot of CO2. So the next phase is, can we still generate hydrogen from hydrocarbons, but capture the carbon? And therefore we call it blue hydrogen. There will be a lot of need for that. It will obviously cost more, but I think the world will go in that direction in the first phase, from gray to blue, where we are capturing and sequestering or getting rid of the CO2. But then the ultimate will be green hydrogen. Then, as I said, we take the electricity, break down hydrogen, and produce green hydrogen. I mean, break down water and produce green hydrogen. Now, there is a lot of discussion about the cost of hydrogen. And everybody likes to compare the cost of hydrogen to hydrocarbons. But hydrocarbons today are a very cheap source of energy because there is a lot of that, that around the world. But uh, people forget that currently hydrocarbons are being subsidized by a tune of about $400 billion a year by the different governments around the world, $400 billion a year. If you take those subsidies away, and then in addition, put down the true cost of using hydrocarbons, which is the damage that they do to the environment, to our health, to floods, global warming and all of that, then you find out that hydrocarbons are not that cheap. And therefore, clean hydrogen easily will compete with that. Right now, there are certain parts of the world, like in, for example, in California, where they have put an equivalent of a carbon tax uh, on uh, CO2 emissions, so, uh, amounts to approximately $200 a ton. And as a result, when you, uh, uh, if you compare a gallon of diesel with the green premium, that diesel in California will be costing you about $9 a gallon, which uh, hydrogen, uh, clean hydrogen can easily compete with that. 
So fundamentally, I'd like to say that we do have the technologies today. We do have the technologies today to go all the way to green hydrogen. We, as Air Products, are building the world's largest green hydrogen facility, $7 billion of investment in Saudi Arabia to demonstrate that. So the technology is there. And the issue of the competitiveness can only be addressed if there is a proper carbon tax on hydrocarbons. And then we will be very easily on our way to a green world, which is the dream of everybody, and especially the future generation. Thank you for giving me the time. I appreciate that. Renewable hydrogen is the system that will revolutionize the energy and industrial sector over the next few years by providing a notable reduction of emissions that helps achieve the objective of slowing climate change. A chemical process known as electrolysis is used to separate the hydrogen from the oxygen contained in water, with the energy used for doing so coming from renewable sources, meaning that no carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere.